If you live in the UK, you might have seen this clip before. What you thought was a 14 year old, didn't you? No, I didn't. Who I, did you send it Stan to? Stan said it was eight, she was 18, it was on the profile. Don't get angry. And today we're going to be talking about the story and aftermath of the goblin nonce. In 2018, a predator hunting group known as Soul Survivors confronted a 34-year-old man known as Giles Cockett, or as the internet has labelled him, the Goblin Nonce, uh, with concerns of online grooming and disturbing acts on a site called uh, Virtual TV. Giles claimed he was a moderator on the online chat room called Virtual Teen, which was designed for preteens and whatever to communicate with each other and offer advice, and that which he used to direct teens to more appropriate sites. He used that as a way to try to be sexual towards underage children, which is disgusting. And on Virtual Teen, Soul Survivors set up multiple decoy accounts the main one being of a 14 year old girl which it was obviously it wasn't a 14 year old girl it was actually them and giles approached them trying to teach the multiple decoy accounts how to do how to masturbate and approach them with other sexual encounters and disturbing things and sent uh full-on nudes to what he thought was under his children and and this later led on to the viral uh, video, which I'm sure plenty of you have seen by clicking on this video, where they confront him for doing these inappropriate acts. And in this now viral video, uh, Giles claimed in this video he had Expurgus Syndrome, which is a form of autism spectrum disorder. It's a developmental disorder. Typically, young people with this syndrome have a difficult time relating to others socially and their behaviour and thinking patterns can be rigid and repetitive. He also claims because of his Asperger syndrome, he finds it difficult to understand the age differences of girls online and I believe the profiles he has been speaking to were 18 years of age. Obviously, those profiles being the fake decoys of the 14-year-old girl of the uh, soul survivors. Anyway, but later on in the video, he states that he understands the age of consent in the UK is 16 years old. It then emerges from the chat logs with the 14-year-old decoy that he knew what he was doing was wrong. He admitted to it and that he asked the decoy to delete the chat history as he didn't want to get caught by the police. He said this multiple times and that the decoy had informed him of his age on multiple occasions to which he responded that he knew she was 18 and he was okay with that. So there's not really an excuse because he knew what he was doing was wrong. But let's get, actually get to the part where I'm sure all of you are interested in. What happened afterwards? Did he go to jail? Did he get off Scots free? Because that seems to happen a lot with paedophiles. Calling out Mark Feely here. Well, Giles Cockett on the 5th of June 2018, uh, Soul Survivors revealed that Cockett had been arrested and charged with three counts of engaging in sexual communications and activity with minors. Uh, Giles later pled guilty to these charges at Chester Crown Court where it was heard that he's been speaking to at least seven underage girls online. Like it was found where he was speaking to seven underage girls online, which is deplorable and disgusting. And I guess we shouldn't be surprised, but he was spared and only sentenced to a three-year community order, and he was additionally ordered to register as a sex offender for only five years. He was made subject to three-year sexual harm prevention order, which prohibited him from using any form of device capable of accessing the internet, which is phone, iPads, I guess Xbox and stuff as well. And it will order him to participate in an accredited sex offenders treatment program. So basically he got away with it and didn't serve any jail time. 
not surprising to be honest. Giles hasn't been seen on any type of social media. He hasn't been seen on Facebook, TikTok, or anything from the research I've conducted. But he was seen in a video on Facebook where he has been seen uh, confronted by people. But it's only like a 12 second video, but I will show that now. You're a dirty. Leave you. me alone. You've been done. You've been done for being a Peter for me. And apart from that, he hasn't been spotted since, to my knowledge. I tried looking up everything I can, but this was the best amount of information I could find. So basically, he has to be put on a sex offenders register. But since the non-sting or the order took place in 2018, this will be he'll be off the sex offenders list and free of everything else in 2023, I believe which is obviously next year, and it's not too far away. In a few months, give it a... And yeah, quite a sad story, to be honest. He really should have been monitored closely by family or whoever was around him. Uh, he clearly has some issues, but obviously that's no excuse for paedophilia. Disgusting acts. And this whole thing could have been avoided if someone just set him straight to be honest anyway that's been joseph the world make sure to like and subscribe and if you want more videos like this about me uh telling stories of predators make sure to like and subscribe and yeah peace and let me know in the comments what type of videos you would like bye